Look at this awesome place I'm staying at. This is freaking unbelievable. I mean, when I walked in here, I'm like, damn, cuz. This is freaking awesome. Look, I mean, just the detail. This is a Airbnb. Okay, look at this sink. It's like stone or something. Um, the water pressure is just amazing. It comes down like a, like, a, like a river. It's just so much water coming out of there. They got this thing like pretty freaking cool, man. And then you can see the camera. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, just the design. This place is owned by a foreign dude. Um, you see all the, like what I love about it is just all the detail. Full fridge, the water machine. Uh, look at this. I mean, it's just like a, a Western kind of uh, place that you'd live. I mean, even better. Little desk here. King size bed. Look at the freaking TV. It's freaking like massive, man. If you go in here, there's even a, another, yeah, another bedroom, which is, you know, beautiful. I love this soft, soft thing back here, like but probably. I'm going to base my future house in the province on this design. I freaking love this. I'm gonna get some pasta. There's some pasta place nearby, and then, and then basically, there's not much to do today, but there's a lot to do tomorrow. Uh, can I get the pepperoni pizza? And then I uh, get a. Uh, banana, peanut butter, shake. Okay. All right. Thank you. You know, when I first came to Lapu Lapu, it wasn't, I was not a fan. I thought it was gringy. But every time I come here, I sort of get more and more into it. I think it's kind of an up and coming place. And then the big thing is you got the major airport right next to you. My new friend here. I met a new friend here in uh, Lapu Lapu. I'll get you some food, okay? Okay, you're a good girl. The struggles of um, homeless cats. Anyway, we'll try to help out this cat if we can. Here it is, really good, really, really good pizza. Okay, I'm gonna munch down and then maybe walk oh, around. Right. Okay guys, uh, so that's where I'm staying for tonight, tomorrow, and then uh, I'm gonna turn this vlog back on when I, uh, I guess tomorrow? Busy day tomorrow. But we are going to see Derek tomorrow, the LTO, the place where I bought the bike. Lots of things to do tomorrow. And then we're getting the hell out of Dodge, maybe. Hey okay, guys, it's 7. The LTO is almost open. I'm going to check out of my nice Airbnb. And right now, I'm going to head down to the LTO and see if the, I can keep this behind the oh, desk. Now it's, for now, we're walking to the LTO. Yeah, the Philippines driver's license is all done. Don't ask me how I did it. I don't want to rethink how I did all that cumbersome stuff. There's no way. So I'm going to go back to clockwork right now where I'm staying. And um, my ORCR is almost re is also ready. So I got the license, the ORCR. I'm going to Derek's to get the bike. Busy day. We got pods. Okay, we got Americans. Okay, now listen. Uh, these are two owners of this building. We won't uh, say too much to them. They are busy, but we're going to go check out what they made here, okay? Here we go. B-Max. Okay, so it's in the same building where my Airbnb is. And so I'm going to take my shoes off. I'm going to go in B-Max, okay? And look at this. Everything's just created, brand new. They're still actually... Oh, is there a way to open this sucker? Oh, just push. Okay, okay. It says push there, yes. Okay, so you walk in. Okay, so there's a card. You climb up here. It's hard to do this with the camera. So you walk in. You come in here. This is your own space. You put your card in here. And then you click. Oh, the red. Oh, here we go. Okay. So you can make it as dark as you want. And then as bright as you want. And yeah, okay, so this is not not for, you know, a doctor or a lawyer or a retired guy, but this is, um, hey, look at this. Very economical if you want just a cheap place to stay that is not old. The main problem in the Philippines is you'll get an economical place made in 19... It's 
the building was made in 1980, and it's very, they even got stars. I mean, typical Americans, you know, they think of everything. So that is the pod area here. Now, the maintenance guy here, how you doing? And so, yeah, this is the bathroom area because it's shared, obviously. You got a toilet. Oh, you got toilets here. You got, sorry, you got showers here. And that's that. That's it. So if you want an economical place to stay, so that's the pod. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk out here because they got what's called a bear unit. Here we go. A bear unit. So you would buy this unit for very cheap. Obviously, you're not going to pay a lot for this, right? So this is cheap for Philippines, big city. Okay, that's cheap. And what you do is you would just pay somebody to fix it up. Put in furniture, put in the TV. But the good thing is, it's barren. You can create it any way you want. But this is one of many that's available. I don't know how many barren units are available. There's a ton of barren units. You know, sorry, one question, sir. Do you know how many bare units are available in the building? Maybe more or more. There's more and more and more, right? There's like a hundred. There's like a lot. Um, because the owner of this building went bankrupt and it was basically taken over by Americans. So this is kind of like going to be like the American embassy kind of place. So pretty good. I wanted to talk more to the two American. Hey, guy, thank you. I want to talk more to the two American guys. Uh, we'll see if we can find them. Okay, so let's see. You're not the owner of this building. No. Right? But um, we all are. Are. So if you if you own a unit here, you're a part owner of this building, right? So this is pretty interesting. Um, so uh, you own the restaurant that's in front there, which I had Love three. It. I had three, I had two pizzas, and then I went back and another pizza. Great, great pepperoni pizza. Um, let's see. It's all homemade. It's all homemade. You can really taste the difference if it's homemade ingredients as opposed to uh, stuff that's I don't know how to say. Not homemade, and you bite into it, and there's just no Imitation. taste. Like <laughs> I had the other day in Ayala Mall, I had Angel's Pizza, and there was just no, there was no taste, you know. Um, but I go here, pepperoni pizza, and it was so tasty. I had three freaking pizzas in one night. Anyway, um, so we have in this building here, we got something called Baron Units. Baron Units. Bear Units. Okay, and it's interesting because people can buy a bear unit, right? for themselves or for an investment. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can fix it up themselves any way they want. Yep. So basically you buy the bare unit and you can custom make it any way you want, right? To your choice. To your choice, okay. Um, so you own some units here? Mm -hmm. Are you renting them out? Yes. Okay, so yeah, uh, where is it on booking, on where booking, is it? We're on Agoda, booking.com. Yep. Um, Airbnb. And basically they look for clockwork. Clockwork Orange and Bmax both. Oh, and BMAX. It's so there's two thing. separate. Yes. So if they're looking on uh, for like a discount unit, a young guy is going to probably go for the pod. Yep. And BMAX. You'll you'll type BMAX in the search, okay? And if uh, you want something where I was staying, that's orange. What Clockwork is it? Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange on all the different sites. Yeah, and then also Blue Tulip is also ours. Blue Tulip. So if Blue you type tulip. in Blue Tulip, is that in this building? Yes. Okay. All in this building. Um, so what's your name? Tony. T Tony. No, you're Frank. No, I'm Tony. Frank's the other. Oh, sorry. I always get confused. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, here we got Tony. Frank is the other American in this building. And um, there's yeah. a lot of foreigners that own condos here. And there's a lot of, uh, yeah, foreigners, Americans. And I've seen them all at the restaurant that's on the first floor here. I haven't seen one Filipino. It's all foreigners here. Uh, so it's kind of like a foreigner community here, I think. Um, but great location right next to the airport, right? Yep. Right next to the airport. 10 minute walk. Walk to the airport. 10 minutes. Okay. So if you get a taxi there, it's like a dollar, right? Yeah, it's, a and, it's 115 pesos. $102. Okay. Very good. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So interesting here. I was talking to him and uh, interesting fact here in this place. All the Filipino workers are from Camigan Island. Most of them. Most, Most of them are them. from Camigan Island. So can quickly, can you just say why? Because that's where the um, the owner's wives is. That's where she's from, and it's her family, and they just all work out great and friends, and they're great workers. Great, fantastic. So the best workers ever. We're gonna check out what's called the industrial 
Blue tulip. Industrial blue, blue tulip. Okay, here we go. You can see here. Blue Tulip Deluxe Studio. It really is a studio. It's not that big, but it's not that small either. It's kind of similar to where I was. But see, the first thing I notice about this when I when I look at a place like this, just the detail, okay? Look, I mean, they gotta, they're got they thinking about the electrical units, you know? Like, sometimes I have to move the bed in order to get to the electrical unit. They got the Wi-Fi easily displayed. They got this freaking thing, okay, right next to the window. They just think of everything. King size bed. I like this, you know, they just the detail. That's what I really like about it. The place I was staying is a one bedroom, but here what we got is a amazing. I love this. I love this. And I'm going to guess this is, oh, wow. So you're sitting in bed. You got a big screen and I don't know how well it's coming up on the, on the screen here, the, the YouTube screen, but this is freaking amazing. Well, how many inches is this? 75. 75 inches. It's freaking massive. It doesn't look that big on my screen here. But um, yeah, that's 75 inches, this thing. Amazing. Okay. Detail is important, right? And this place has a lot of detail. Um, so can you uh, maybe give a price or can we give a link to how to book this place? Just through Clockwork Orange or Booking.com. Frank, thank you. Tony. Tony, thank you. <laughs> I'm at Derek's house now. Thanks to the uh, great taxi man there. That was my taxi. Good man. Thank you. Got the ORCR. Derek's place is right behind me. Oh, is it open already? Oh, damn, it's already open. Oh, there he is. There's the great Derek with all his bikes. The my great bike. Derek is here. Hey, man. Oh, my God. There it is. It's the great eye. Hey, I is somewhere. Oh, it's a great eye. Hey, high five. Oh, you can't. Sorry about that. You want to put it inside the bag? Oh, yeah. I think, uh, I think the so. battery probably died from uh, sitting for too long. Oh, dang. Charging it. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Taking care of business here. Um, Beautiful. Got the ORCR. I'm going to make a copy for you and laminate it to oh. make it waterproof. Okay. And then you just keep the original on the... Appreciate it. Yeah, I... Hi. Wow, she gets hotter every time I come here. <laughs> I uh, I'm it's dying fine. for I'm dying for a cold uh, drink. I'm gonna go yeah, get a Coca Cola. We, want, uh, we have Coke. Uh, do you have Coke? Hey. You want Coke? Dying for a Coca Cola. What a day! Uh, I'm exhausted. It's dark, so I got the bike. Everything's done. Philippines driver's license, ORCR. Uh, but it's getting dark. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to go to the port 7 a.m. tomorrow, very early. But the lady downstairs says she doubts I'll be able to get on the ferry. But we'll see.